Hi there, YouTube family. Thanks for joining me for today's video. I wanted to do just a little bit of a different video as far as a haul video goes. Because you guys, I test a lot of makeup for you. And I really want it to be the input that you need from me. So here is my box of recently, like this past month of the things that I've gotten. And what I want to do is I want to go through this fairly quickly so that you guys can tell me in the comment section below what you want to hear my thoughts on, my specific thoughts on. Because I do have some initial first thoughts on all of these things, but a lot of them I have not even tried yet. So it's going to be a haul, you decide what you want to see, but I'm also going to give you a few thoughts on some of the things in here already. So let's get started because it's going to take me a while. If you're new to the channel, make sure that you subscribe and please give me a thumbs up before you go out of here, you guys. I appreciate that. The first thing that I want to show you is this really cool Wanderlust palette from Pro Profusion. Walmart got these in recently and I have been working with this one several days. You guys saw this green in a video that I did fairly recently. And then this blue right here, it's kind of an icy blue. I do have that one on my eyes today mixed with another color. These um, I will save for you guys for my thoughts on it. If you want to see them, you guys would like this completely swatched, I can do that for you as well. Okay, I got this little palette right here from Flower Beauty off of the Ulta website. And it did come where it's kind of fallen apart. It's just a little like paper palette. So I'm not too, I'm not too, you know, worried about that at all. So the only uh, mattes in here are the bright blue and then this kind of a creamy beige color right here. Highly metallic shadows, but I don't know that I could get a lot of looks out of this just because you have so little to work with. I am going to try and work with that and see if I can do a couple of looks with it. I think it's pretty, but it does feel like the shadows themselves are a little bit chunky. So I wanted to show that one to you. Okay, and I'm just gonna show you a few of the Flower Beauty things that I did get. This is their highlighting trio. This is so pretty on the highlights. It's one of those ones that is every bit as good as a high-end highlight. And I just think it's really beautiful as far as the colors that are here, all of them are very wearable and it's just really pretty. So I actually, you can see that one in action because that is the one that I have on today. And I do think it's very pretty. I also picked up the Warrior Princess Mascara from Flower Beauty. And um, so far so good on this. That, that is what the actual brush looks like. Like. It seems to be doing pretty good on how it separates and how it, you know, fans my lashes out. So I will be continuing to try that one out and let me know if you want to see that one. I went ahead and I purchased the berry and berries and cream palette from Dominique Cosmetics. This is only the second day that I've had this palette, but I did try this color right here, which is kind of a taupe color, very cool tone. I am wearing this one as my transition color and I am wearing this blue as the blue that's on my eyes today. So I have on really kind of a cool toned look and looking at this palette, you know, obviously most people would immediately reach for the berries, which I would have done, but I just had on a berry look in the last video that I did. So I thought I'd go a little bit cooler today, but so far so good on how creamy and blendable and nice these are. This is a really beautiful palette. And a couple of high-end things that I got besides that palette is I did pick up the Tarte Face Tape Foundation this is what I have on today. This is the first time I've worn it. It went on really pretty. We will see later on in the day whether or not it clings to any of my dry patches or anything like that. But it does claim to have like 12 hours of hydration in it. So if you were dry skin like I am, then that would be good for you. So like I said, I've only tried it once, but I ha I do really like the way that it went on today. And then I had one of you ask me to please review the Becca Anti-Fatigue Under Eye Primer. I tried this for two days. I don't know if I'm if I'm sold on it as being something that is just going to be wonderful or not. It feels very balmy. It looks green in the pan, but the, there is no green like coloring, so it doesn't do any color correcting at all. Um, I don't know how I feel about this yet. I can feel the silicone in the product though, and it does feel a tiny bit hydrating. So the silicone in it just makes me think of the Tatcha primer. So for the price on this and how much you get, I'm still questioning this. So I'm not 100% sold on that. Two products that were gifted to me from number seven. This one is the number seven Protect and Perfect Intense Advent Advanced Serum. 
And then this one is the, the brand new one, the number seven laboratories line correcting um, serum. And it's interesting because I don't know that I am finding any difference in these two products. They both come out of a dispenser where it's kind of pinpointed like you do, you know, targeted serums. And that's what this one said to do, the um, the brand new one. It, it looks like it's supposed to be a syringe, which is kind of silly as far as I'm concerned, because you don't have as nice of a delivery system as this. There's not as much control because a tiny bit comes out of here, whereas a little bit more comes out of this. So I feel like I do get too much. And if you push down one whole pump, you're getting way too much of this because it does distribute a lot. So this is the brand new one that is um, supposed to be the laboratory line correcting that everybody's supposed to see wonderful results about. I can tell you that I've been using this for two weeks, haven't noticed anything. However, my review has to be up within an amount of 30 days and that's really not enough time for me to be able to tell you whether or not I'm in love with this. These two products are not. So I'm gonna have to let you know on both of them. Okay. I went to Walmart and I found the found foundation. <laughs> this is a found beauty cosmetic line. So I have tried this one time. The color was really off for me, but the foundation was pretty good. I will, again, if you want to see further tests on these, let me know. And then also here is the blush and this one is in rose gold glow. I can't talk. Rose glow and it's really, really stark. It's a super stark blush and it would be great on somebody that was deeper skin. So if you're a deeper skin gal, this would be perfect for you, this color. This is really the only color that appealed to me and yet it does come off looking really kind of like rosy orangey color or rosy peachy color instead of being like what it looked like in here, which I thought was more like a pinky plum color. So definitely a pretty blush. It, the feel of it was nice, but a blush that I really did like that I picked up was from Rimmel. This is the Maxi blush and this is one of their powder blushes and this is matte. There's no shimmer or anything in this blush. Um, this blush is quite subtle. It looks in the pan to be like it's gonna be really, really stark, but when I put it on, it was pretty light and this actually was probably one of the lightest colors they had and of course I'm so fair skinned that I have to have something pretty light so I thought it was really pretty you can build it up to be you know a little bit more stark it's very pretty that way too but they had four different colors and the colors were really pretty I picked I up the light one because it looked like it was going to be super um, pigmented but it's a nice blush that you can blend and build up now this next product I can totally give you a review on this is the Rimmel Stay Matte powder and um, let's see what color I have. I have it in color 11 creamy natural. You guys, this is a nice, nice powder. I actually picked this up because I was watching Allie Glines and she was using this as a powder that um, was on her under eyes. And it is, it's such a lightweight, pretty, just I just really like it. It's it's got a it's got a softness about it and a blurring property about it that just goes really well on the skin. And I've been using it over and over again. And as far as I'm concerned, it's every bit as good as a high-end powder because it has just a tiny bit of creaminess. I don't know if I would set my under eyes with this per se, but as far as blurring out pores and stuff and still being a really light, super light powder that um, isn't gonna give you cake face, this is really a nice powder. I really like this one. From Hard Candy, this one is the Sheer Envy Instant Eye Fix Under Eye Treatment. Depuffs, brightens, smooths, primes, and moisturizes. You guys, they were trying to dupe the Color Science one that everybody is um, you know, going head over heels about it has the same exact applicator on the end. I'll show you the other one in just a second. Same exact applicator on the end. I'm not a fan of the Color Science product it, myself. It doesn't give me enough hydration and it definitely doesn't give me enough color correcting. This one is the same way, but like I said, I'm not a huge fan of this one. Um, this is the higher end from Color Science. So this one is the hard candy one right underneath it. So you can see right there, this one is quite a bit more orange and then this one is quite a bit more pink. The Color Science one feels quite a bit more emollient. It's quite a bit more hydrating. This one is really quite a bit, the one from Hard Candy is quite a bit lighter. Um, it doesn't give you hardly any coverage and you can see right there how the Color Science one would cover better than the Hard Candy ones. It kind of makes your concealer get a little bit 
um, gunky or you know a little bit cakey looking underneath there so if you like the color science and you're able to get that stick with that one because this is definitely not a dupe okay everybody is touting how amazing and how wonderful the the catrice hd liquid foundation is the liquid coverage foundation is and the hype is real you guys just so you know i like this a lot now it is a very matte foundation so be aware of that um, it is not one that you're going to be able to get a dewy finish out of but if you were to add something into it like the light correcting catrice uh, serum primer that would be good also i have a new one that i'm really enjoying and this one is from jcat beauty um, they have these in all different colors i picked up the pink i was thinking about my yellow foundations and how they needed to lean a little bit more towards the pink side and i could maybe put this in as a little bit better of a color match but anyway this is a really really nice foundation i've been wanting to get my hands on it forever and they never had my shade in and I'm a really light shade in the summer. I'm going to be darker, but I think this is this is zero two zero, which is the rosy beige. Really love this foundation, you guys, so far. I'm also from Catrice, I picked up this new um, hashtag Insta to Go Blur Stick. This says that you can put it on on top of your makeup or below your makeup as a primer. I have not tried to put this on top of my makeup yet. I'm a little scared. It feels just like a silicone primer stick um, and it does fine underneath makeup, um, but I do feel like it's overpriced for how much you get in here because you don't get hardly any in here. That's it. But something that you could throw in your purse and you know touch up throughout the day if you got oily or greasy, I might think of it that way, um, but I'll let you know. And if it's something that you guys want to see, let me know on that one too. From JCat Beauty, I have two of their highlighters. Here's the thing, you guys. These are extremely powdery highlighters. And I don't know, I don't think I'm really enjoying working with them because of how powdery they are. I love this pink one as far as its color. It does have a very pretty peachy pink look to it. And it's just, it's really gorgeous, subtle color to it. But what I don't like is how powdery I feel when I use it. That really to me will be the kicker in any product that I use. If it's too powdery, it's not gonna be something that I reach for over and over again. From Marc Jacobs, I picked up this little trio set. I really like these trio sets. This one is in the color Sugar High Nude. So these are minis. I'm finding that I like minis more and more these days. Um, I'm not crazy about the liner on this one, but I do like the gloss and the lipstick. So there it is right there. That is the liner. Again, it is just the wrong undertone for me. And I have a really hard time with that. And here is the actual lipstick. That's not too bad. Um, I do love his lipsticks. They're very creamy and they're very nice, but I really did like this lip gloss. I thought it was so pretty. So pretty colors. This one is coming across to me as being a little bit brighter pink. Maybe it's just its finish that I like because you guys know how much I like my lip glosses. So that one, I think I'm gonna have to wear a few times before I have any sort of an opinion on it. Makeup Revolution just recently came out with this Prima and Lock eyeshadow base. I've worn this twice, you guys, and recently since I've been doing my whole hot flash thing, I have found that my eyeshadow is creasing and I don't like that. And the other thing is when it goes on, it goes on very sheer. In the tube here, you'd think that it's almost the color of concealer, it's not. This would last you forever though because you need a tiny dot because if you use too much, if you use more than just a dot, you're gonna get goopy on the top. Goopy's my word, I guess. This so time. this one is a hard pass for me. This is turning out to be a review anyway, you guys. But if there are specific things in here that you wanna see, let me know. This one I saved for last. This one is the Ofra Makeup Fixer. This is a light refreshing mist that keeps makeup in place all day long. Okay, this is, it smells like roses, very nice, subtle smell, not an overwhelming rose smell, but very nice and very subtle. Um, huge bottle, as you can see, it's got a gargantuan bottle, it's eight ounces. And I like it, but the mist on it is too much. Um, I don't know if that's gonna even come across on camera. You can see right there how wet my hand got, and that was just with two pumps. So um, I am having to hold it way out and do it that way. I, pro I like the actual product inside this bottle. I think the alcohol in this is ingredient number five or six. I was gonna remember that for you guys, but I totally spaced it. So it's down there a ways, whereas some of them will have alcohol like in the, as the second ingredient. But this one you can put on over your makeup throughout the day to kind of refresh your makeup too. 
Um, it does have some really great ingredients in it. If you get a chance to get on the Ulta website and read the ingredients because it does have a lot of botanicals in it, which is great too. So I'm kind of really liking this one. It is one that I will continue to test for you guys for sure. I think that's it you guys. I think that's everything for today's haul slash review slash which ones do you want to see me try for you guys. That will be it. I hope that you're all having a fantastic day. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up on your way out of here, please. I would really appreciate it. I hope that your week or your weekend, wherever this video does hit you is going really well. I will talk to you guys very soon. Love you all very much and I'll see you all in my very next video. Bye-bye guys.